All right, friends, welcome to Flight Test. Um, it's cold, it's windy. Uh, there is no way we're gonna be flying anything today. So uh, Noah, you have something special in mind. Yeah, so today we're gonna build a miniature size R2-D2. Last year around this time, we actually built this big guy here and it's been over in the corner of our shop. We love it. We also did a Millennium Falcon. So it makes a lot of sense that maybe this winter we should be adding R2-D2 to the mix. Noah's been working hard behind the scenes making this design, so we're ready to build. So the next part is we just gotta jump on the laser and start building this thing. Let's do it. Holy cow, Noah, you have been working overtime. Oh yeah. Look at all these lines. So you took a lot of this inspiration off of the papercraft file, right? Yeah, the best thing is that uh, papercraft and uh, working with foam almost go hand to hand. Because when you have to fold the paper, all you have to do is either add a score or add a bevel to the foam board and it works the same way. So I, I saw you up late last night or late the other night working on this. And I had no clue you're gonna bring it to this level of completion so quickly. Oh yeah. So the uh, I think the first place to start would be the body and the head. I think that's the uh, the main foundation. What do you think? I like it. Yep. I like it a lot. Awesome. So this is basically like an etch. Yep. Yeah, it's not a full score um, like that's on our planes. Mm -hmm. I bumped the power way down low and yeah. increased the speed, and that gave us just a really crisp, uh, almost burn into the paper. Just yeah, so I can actually feel it. Yeah. Uh, the hard thing is, is with some of these pieces, it's if you actually score too deep into the paper, when you would be rolling over the edges, it, it would cracks. It would just pop and crack, yeah. yeah. How do you tell which one's the front and which one's the back of his head? Of his head? Yeah. Uh, his head is uh, on the plans, the front of it. Has, so where's, where's his head? His head will be this part. So you gotta be careful how you... Uh, Should let me, let me double check that. <laughs> I love the size of that. Yeah, it's it's so it's so manageable and just like just a yeah. little compact little guy. So the first AT AT that uh, we built together, you actually put it together and uh, yeah. and had it in your office for almost probably over a year. Almost a year, yeah. It was and it was just like a cute little guy. Yeah, really good idea to do is whenever you want to start something, go ahead and start it in small. Uh, Noah, I think you glued that on the wrong side. So what did he do? So I, I glued his head on his butt. <laughs> I glued his head on the butt and I wasn't paying attention, so yeah. Yeah, so these these guys here are supposed to be by his head. And instead his head was down there. L little knife action and a little strategic cutting <laughs> later. He glued his head on his butt. So uh, we made a giant bullet. <laughs> it doesn't look like Bullet Bill. <laughs> yeah, the main body is done. Thanks to uh, my dad with his uh, extra hands, we got it done. Human pretty clamps quick. is I think what John Overstreet calls it. Yes. That. All right, so what's next? So uh, we have a lot of sub assemblies to actually make. Uh, me and my dad are going to hopefully kick those out real quick and uh, get on to actually assembling the final R2-D2. Very cool. So I am uh, going through and beveling all of the edges uh, to fold this piece together. 
Very cool. What's, what's this do then? Because this is a little bit different than our typical foam board plane. Yeah, usually our foam board planes uh, either have A fold, B folds, or C folds. Uh, this is a little bit different. It's uh, you have to bevel each side of the piece in order for it to fold together. The reason that we do that is that way all the pieces fold up almost like um, the paper model. So you're kind of able to nest a lot of the pieces that would normally take tabs yep. on this. And instead of tabs, you're just using hot glue and then the foam to actually glue together, which makes it a lot stronger. Absolutely, yeah. I like that. A couple things that help when you're doing this is to be patient is to have a nice, fresh, sharp razor blade because when you have a dull one, it can actually be dangerous because you could slip and cut yourself. Take your time. Take your time, yeah. All right, so this is looking really good here. And if you guys don't know, if you're new to flight tests, we love taking common projects and making them special, bringing you through the whole entire journey. Now, oftentimes, just like R2-D2 here, this can take up to a couple different days of time to work on it. Uh, one thing we really want to do is it'll give you the highlights, give you what you need to know to have success, whether it's an R2-D2 or obviously whether it's line model aviation. Now, our good friends and our sponsors of this episode, Blinkist, are doing the exact same thing with a written word, with podcasts, and even audio books. So if you're not familiar with Blinkist, Blinkist basically takes a book or an audiobook or even a podcast that would typically take you a very long time to read and gives you a 15 minute highlight. Now Blinkist offers two different packages. A basic version which is going to give you a title, a 15 minute educational read every day based around your interest. Now if you guys are like me and you want to have different things whether it's self-improvement, whether it's learning about history and you want to be able to take that in and you also want to be able to choose from over 3,000 titles, the premium version will give that to you in written word, podcast form or even audiobook. Now Blinkist will take books like the one that I'm interested in, The Splendid and the Vile. It's a story all about Churchill, and they'll take that long book, and they'll take it all the way down to 15 minutes. Now along with that highlight, I can also go back and listen to the whole entire title in long form if I choose. Now this content does not need to be accessed while you're online. You can actually get any of this content and take it with you wherever you go offline. One of the things I'm probably the most excited about is I can listen to some of my most favorite podcast creators, and Blinkist has created something called a shortcast, which helps you get to the heart of the podcast faster. Now, when you download this popular app, you're gonna be joining over 14 million other users that are getting their favorite non-fictional content in the blink of an eye. Now, we got a really special offer for you thanks to Blinkist. If you go down in their description and click that link below, the first 100 people are gonna get a whole week of unlimited titles from Blinkist. And if you guys choose to keep that subscription, you're gonna get an additional 25% off of your subscription model. Huge shout out to Blinkist. Uh, with flight tests, we really love to make something very complicated, easy to digest, and easy to learn from. Blinkist is doing the exact same thing with the written word, with podcasts, and also with audiobooks. So big thanks for Blinkist for making this content possible, and also you guys for watching. Now Noah's using the laser to etch these lines in, but a way that you guys can do this at home is simply by taking the free downloadable plans, printing them off, and then gluing them with Super 77 onto your foam board. So while Noah's finishing this up here, I'm gonna break away. I'm gonna take some of the iconic blue pieces of R2-D2. I'm gonna transfer them over to vinyl. So basically all we need to do is just stick them on. So after hours of cutting, gluing, folding, taping, we are ended up with a bunch of random R2-D2 pieces. All we have to do is glue them together to create the final R2-D2. All right, Noah, you did fantastic. Awesome, thank I, you. I love this. This is really cool. This is basically four sheets of foam. So for under $5, you guys can build this as well. Took you about a day? About a day, yeah. This would be a perfect one day build. Now this is gonna be absolutely perfect whether you wanna put it on your desk, in your man cave, whether you wanna build with your friends or your family. Uh, one of our visions with Flight Test is not just celebrating flight, but it's a journey of building and building together and creating memories. This is a perfect project when you have those rainy days or those bad weather days where you can't fly, download the plans, 
build it yourself, and create a memory along the way. Now, a little RTD2 may be done here, but we are not done with this project here. No, you're gonna be next supersizing this to make it life-size, correct? Absolutely, we're gonna make him drive around, uh, make his head move, all the classic R2D2 things. Now, I'm really excited about this because we're gonna be able to play with some servos, some electronics, and also some 3D printing. And make sure you hit that subscribe bell so you can follow this project along. Ultimately, at the end of the day, we wanna make R2D2 fly. So friends, thank you so much for following along with this build. Great job, Noah, and we'll see you next time. We fly! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeff.